Hi everyone, my name is Snood and I'm community manager at Coffee Stain Studios. And you're watching Bits' channel. <laughs> <laughs> you need to do the swish at the end of that, like, Disney channel. Just welcome to the oh, Disney yeah, the, channel. <laughs> and you're watching the Disney channel. Hey everyone, my name is Bits. What's up, Kevin? Wait, what's the intro again? Oh, what's going on, fan. guys? Fake fun. Got another... Yeah, dude. Today we're playing another set. Another video on Space Factory. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about trains. Trains are very important to Space Factory. You got to put them on the tracks and pull choo choo, go all the place. Ah, oh, I'm a big spoon. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look at me. I'm on the wrong screen, chat. Oh, oh I'm going to play the game and okay. pretend that uh, no, no, you no, can that's see what that's I'm too doing. close to home. <laughs> 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 too close. Hey, Maxbox, thanks for the raid. Okay, I wish everyone could experience what you're going through right now, because it's it's such a like you, it's such a weird part like of, of, mm -hmm. of this, and it's so stressful, um, especially when you're doing it alone. Yep. Um, <laughs> and then all, all they can hear is me just going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I go to the QA side and I read posts about people being like, "Snow's not professional enough." The worst thing screen. is right now. I think I've just closed YouTube chat and forgot about them for the last ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. Nobody said anything interesting. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, chat. Roll the intro. Yeah. What we're going to be doing, we are joined by Snow, the community manager of Coffee Stain Studios. That's the guy over on the left-hand side of the screen, not me. He's the one that put the magic together for the patch notes eight. All by himself. Mm -hmm. Well, not around. fully by myself. <clears throat> I also get a little bit of help from Linus, who is our uh, okay. uh, trailer he... guy. Uh, he is he the one the that editing. did the the speaker one? He did the speaker for update six. Mm, you remember no, all the not what with the billboards and everything? What are you referring to? I don't know, Do you remember I don't the know. signs when the music was on and you had all the highways going across with all the vehicles? Oh, that's update five. Yeah, was it? He did that one. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah. Not not yeah. LTT oh, minus. Was, no. No no no. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he's joining us today to do patch notes eight breakdown of how he did the whole patch notes trailer. Yeah. So I, I got a little bit of help from Linus doing some B-roll, and I also got help from Daniel, who does uh, some audio stuff for us. He did the sound design for the video, so he did all the atmosphere sound and some of the sound effects in the video. Yeah. Um, but other other than that, I made all by myself. I worked very hard in that video. I worked all by myself. How long did it take? Was it two and a half weeks or something? Uh, no, it was a bit more than that. It was um, 22 days straight, roughly. Um, not including writing the script. Because I don't remember how long it took to write the script. Um, yeah. And, and this video was a bit weird because originally <clears throat> these patchwork videos are always like me and Jace doing. Like, this is our, this is our moment to just do whatever <laughs> we come up with. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, we actually wanted to make a patch notes video together and we wanted to film it before Jace left and like re-record and, and uh, record and everything. We just didn't have time. And then while I was, well, as time was ticking down to the release of, wow, I'm getting so <laughs> ignore, big. Ignore. <laughs> ignore. I love the resolution of me as well. Okay. Um, and, uh, while... What was I talking about? I got so distracted. Yeah, the resolution is, yeah, the resolution is like I'm a, when it comes to resolution, I'm a proper like visual snob, and now I can see the pixels and everything mm. <laughs> because I'm pulling from a. For those that don't know on like YouTube and stuff, I'm literally pulling like a small, probably like 69p resolution thing from Discord <laughs> to to scale it. Yeah, so, and if you touch yeah. the layout on Discord, everything breaks. Yeah, that you have right now. So all I need to do now is probably just press Control Z and it's going boop boop. But uh, yeah, no, <clears throat> me and Jace originally wanted to make a video and uh, Jace uh, is not here. He's he's dead. <laughs> he left us. <laughs> Gone. He doesn't exist anymore. Uh, yeah. No, actually, he, we no, were... No, he does. Uh, I was with him in Belgium last week. Uh, that's true. You can <laughs> confirm. No, we originally wanted to actually record the Patch Notes video anyways, uh, but it ended up being the case where I was so busy. I had such a hard time like organizing anything with this video. I was actually kind of like... This video almost didn't happen because I was doing so many other things at the same time. Yeah. <clears throat> and the only thing that saved this video really was the fact that I decided to do it with green screen. Because when, usually when we record these, it's like we, we spend like a day just filming. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have like a full day to record this time. So 
what I decided to do was just be like, all right, I set up a green screen at home. So I had a green screen covering this entire room. <laughs> and I had to put the camera in the like outside of the room to be able to fit yeah. everything. Uh, I'll set it up and I'll have that set up. And then whenever I get time, I'll, re -rec I'll record some scenes here and there. Um, and it, it ended up being, you know, what saved the video doing it with the green screen. And it's sort of like uh, based on, I don't know if you remember the fluids update patch notes video that I made. Yeah. Which yeah. was similar similar vein, but that one the, was... The 3.5 one or the 3.1? Yeah, 3. Point, actually, it was like 3.6 or something, yeah. actually. But yeah, the, the in-between update, sort of. Um, and uh, yeah, I had to record everything with green screen. Um, and uh, was filming here and there. <clears throat> and there are some shots uh, where I am <laughs> in real life pissed off because I'm like <laughs> doing something else. So, and I, I can tell, I don't think other people can tell, but there are a couple of shots where I'm like, oh, I remember how mad I was when I was recording this. <laughs> That's the thing is like with the green screenshots, it's like only content creators know what it looks like from without the effects on. Yeah. Of you uh, just like walking up there in your like, I don't know, your shorts and everything and just walking up to that green screen yeah and then me, clapping let me, <laughs> let me show you how it's done uh i'm kind of scared of which one i'm Wait, I, actually... will i have to uh think you're here yeah i need to re readjust here uh oh. where did it go let me keep the the oh it's not wait well actually oh my god i can just do Black. that about the... poggers is that I can just use undo yes, and okay. redo to actually pull these back up again. <laughs> oh shit, that's clever. <laughs> yeah, so like here, here's uh, okay. Oh, here we go. Here, here's uh, here's all the uh, cookie behind oh, the my... scenes. <laughs> <laughs> we need to just release this just for the memes. <laughs> oh yeah, no. I... I'm sitting on some gold shit that I want to release. I want to do the the running bit with the green screen so people can use that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is uh, and I've yeah some of the shots where I'm standing up, I'm shooting vertically because then you have more uh, yeah. pixels to work with. <clears throat> and this is the I think this is the actual shot I used for the when I'm getting cornered by the hog. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I think everyone yeah, is this... looking at the screen right now with like ninety degree angle. <laughs> <laughs> You always 50 bucks, you just tilted your head. Yeah. You need yeah. to get a battle pass. Yeah, exactly. So that's what that looks like. Um, and that's essentially how I shot everything. Because the thing about green screen, and you, it, I, it, when, I, when I go to like, when I go to uh, uh, a friend's stream or something, they're using green screen and you see all the little flies going behind you, like, please use a backlight to light, <laughs> light the green screen. Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of it is, uh, I can actually share my secrets here, how I do green screen, because I, I don't think, uh, I think a lot of people use green screen, I don't, there's like a couple of things you can do to make it re look really, really good, mm -hmm. um, and I don't think I can show that here in the timeline, because as you may have noticed, I've frozen everything, and that's because often when, I've, when I'm when i like at the ed end of, of uh, editing, sometimes yeah. I'll do something where like I need to pull in a clip or something, and then like that removes stuff in the timeline, so it's just like, I've learned the hard way, just like when, when I get close to finishing, just lock everything down. Um, this is a copy of everything though. So, so let's see if I can find like a good spot here. To the timeline. Yes. And I still use Premiere because I'm way too uh, <laughs> stuck in. I, uh, I've li I was literally showing chat this morning, a new tool I'm using called Recut. <clears throat> um, so when I go like do the recording stuff, it automatically trims out all the silence from the videos and just oh, saves, nice. yeah, saves in like an hour. And it's literally it's not sponsors, but it's like it's on sale for like sixty percent right now, and it's saving my saving time because I think I mean it, it. It tells you like what the original clip was like one hour, and then it trimmed it down to like thirty three minutes, and it was like mm. eight hundred and something cuts it made. Yeah, those those that shit is is cool. I love those tools. They're, they're getting, we're getting more and more of that, like video editing stuff that just like completely speeds up the process. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't nice. know about the um, what was it? The YouTube Remux as well. Uh, not, not Remux, uh, Premiere Pro Remux. Because mm -hmm. I use DaVinci, but before I'm like grabbing a song and just stretching it out, and it, AI yeah. just automatically re redoes the audio. Yeah. <clears throat> Adobe's version is like sound something, and that's magic. That's I've used a lot of that. You can tell on on the patchless video here. Like every time you see a cut that looks like uh, the music layer is, is the bottom one here. Mm -hmm. These like jagged lines are are AI magic. Yeah. 
doing stuff. I, I that shit saves so much time because like one of the biggest time consuming parts of making, especially these type of videos where the music needs to time as well in yeah. the edit, where you want like you know hits and punches in the music to to match like where the cut is and everything. Uh, that shit takes so mo so long time, so much time, and uh, having to do it manually is is super draining and it takes so much time. And just having the AI thingy do it magically and it's like yeah, you barely need to do anything. And sometimes I'd be like, if it doesn't work, I'd be like, all right, I'll just find a new song. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do that. It's, it's uh, like, uh, well, like, I think, because I didn't find out until about six months ago that it was a thing. And then before that, you can tell in like every single one of the videos how the audio changes from one song to another just by crossfade. Mm -hmm. That's literally all I used. But then when yeah. the remunks come in, it's just yeah, so much easier. It's so nice. Um, yeah. So so here's, here's, a, here's a shot. And then, whoops, wrong button. I think yeah, I'm cutting off the screen a little bit there, aren't I? And obviously, uh, <clears throat> I have my green screen thing. Uh, one mm -hmm. other fun fact is that every every green screen I shot or recorded, I had no idea what the background was going to look like. Like, like the background is is added after the fact. That's usually a tip not to do when you do green screen. You usually want to like you want to plan everything out as much as you can, so you can light yourself uh, and like fake you know the the lighting that's in the scene to match what you what you have. Uh, when you film it, mm -hmm. I didn't do that because I didn't have time to do that. Um, but essentially, well, that's what I do, what you would do, yeah. So yeah. essentially, here's here's the magic, right? So everything is on. I, I'm not using layers for the green screen because yeah. I'm, I'm lazy. Are you able uh, to grab it, the video player and show it in the middle a little bit? Maybe. Uh, uh, yeah, I can even. Is that PVC piping right there, or have you just grabbed the screenshot? <laughs> Yeah, so so like I have something in the that, that's also another neat little thing where like if you add stuff in the foreground or to the shot that makes you feel you get the depth. Yeah, like a lot a lot a lot of uh, when you're doing when you're filming stuff and, and and doing photo in general, like one way to to really make it look cinematic, which is a term that everybody hates using, but mm. if you want to make something look cinematic, it, you want to get as as much depth in the shot as possible. That's why like you know. Uh, um, the, like depth of field and like blurry background and stuff like yeah. that looks nicer is because you get more information and depth in the picture and and sometimes that's like one of the tools you can do and another thing is like having stuff in the foreground um, and, and like you know so it's it, you can kind of feel like where the frame ends up so yeah. here I have just like the background <clears throat> layer and then I added the um, the railing yeah. from the guardrail in front of me and when obviously when you need to create focus you can just blur the foreground unblur the background yeah exactly of, yeah, and i do a lot of that too where I, I blur myself and i blur the background and i try to match those and i actually have it in the sequencer when i recorded the, sh the footage for yeah. the game and i match it and stuff like that um so but yeah the secret here to the green screen is i have like a couple of uh color grades and and i'm filming everything in log which is like a color profile for for uh, some cameras that have it which makes the picture more flat but you get more color information mm -hmm. so i do like one general color pass on it so this is what it looks like from Original. camera from scratch yeah. and then i do a little bit of color grading on top of that and then you do what you do with the green screen then is you pick the green color okay so one thing that i also have to point out is my project is like it's so big that it bugs the hell out of premiere oh um, boy it's it's always like when I get to a certain point, suddenly the game, suddenly the the software just like can't deal with my shit. Yeah. Um, so apparently I can't touch anything here, but essentially what I do with the color is you pick in, there's a setting in here with Lumetria, or like you can do this in A, where you select just the greens in the frame. And then what you do is you desaturate them as much as possible. So they're as flat as possible. Um, and then you uh. just like pull them to as much as possible in one direction so they're as flat as possible so you get rid of these like crinkles and like that shit doesn't yeah. have as much contrast anymore i've never thought about doing it that way before yeah <clears throat> so when i do that it turns from from this to this <laughs> uh, not not super noticeable but and then you, when you do keying you just key on that and i've the the cool thing is like when you do everything properly and you light mm -hmm. everything properly and all this stuff keying is super easy because i've barely i just <laughs> Do do a key yeah. and then it just works. It's uh, just a, a, everything's doing a color match, isn't it? The the green yeah. screen. So 
Uh, and like the only thing I need to touch up here and there, like there's a couple of shots where like I'm moving in and out and then I'm creating shadow on the green screen. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I just mask that out with like a, a mask in premiere, but like that's maybe four or five shots where I've needed to do that. Everything else is just like straight out of just one click ultra key and that's it. I haven't touched anything else. And that's, if I hadn't done that, if I had to go through and like <clears throat> handle all that shit, it would have been a nightmare. Uh, yeah. And then the last thing you want to do is you want to take on the footage that you have. Sometimes you'll still get like these gray or like green lines, you know, where, where especially when you have movement. I'm also filming this with a uh, high frame rate. So I get as little like, fr like this motion blur when I'm moving and stuff like that. Um, and, and interestingly enough, this shot or like this clip here is the only shot where I actually didn't film it with high frame rate. And it's, it's very noticeable when I'm doing like these fast movements. Yeah, with your arms. The, the smearing and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so sh shooting in high frame rate also saves it. But one because thing I do at the end. Like with your shoot, because normally you set your shutter speed. Is it your shutter speed? You usually double it. What your frame rate is, right? So yeah, if you want to have um, smooth. I can't, yeah, I can't remember what's called. There's a rule in. There's a specific type of motion blur you get when you have yeah. uh, when you uh, have that. But you can also crank it, which mm -hmm. I'm doing in this case, where I where it doesn't match that. And the last thing I do is on. Uh, the image. You do the same thing you did before when you when you keep, grab all the green color in the frame. So you at the last step you grab all the green color and then you add either add blue to it or you desaturate greens altogether and then you don't get the green outlines anymore. Yeah. In worst case you'll get like gray outlines, but that's much more like that's way less noticeable than when you have like green outlines. And that's uh, basically how I get the green screen to look so good. And then obviously you want to do color grades based on like the scenes. Yeah, there's there's a the of... scenes lighting and stuff to yeah. kind of match it all. <clears throat> so uh, I, I, I would have guessed like you would have brought the saturation up a little bit because of the because of the game. Yeah, and there's a couple of tricks you can do there as well, where if you add a layer and do like uh, what's it called? Uh, sorry, not a layer. Add a color. I thought my project was organized. My guy hitting the object limit in Premiere. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is, color mat. So you. Ah, oh, shit. Whoops. Uh oh. That's not the wrong. Here it is. Um, gray. There, there's a magic color gray that's like 18% uh, gray or something like that. Yeah. Um, you, you normally get it on the, uh, what are they called? The movie clackers and stuff. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Um, to get white balance. So if you yeah. take that and you do um, blend mode and do hue, no, sorry, saturation. Because they're pretty expensive as well. Like even if you just want like the color, the, the, the what's it called boards, I think yeah. they're about two hundred eighty so, pound. So when you're color grading me, um, what you can do is you can take a gray and then slap it on top of the footage, so everything looks like this. Mm -hmm. And then you pull on sliders, and then you can see like the highlights of your subject and the background, and make sure that they're in line. I'm a little bit like lower because this is a bit brighter yeah. than I am, but I, I, I thought <clears> it looked fine anyways. Uh, and then you do that with color, and you can also do luminosity. We can check to make sure that the saturation in my footage matches the saturation in the picture. Um, and it's way easier to do see it when you have this like top layer um, when you pull the slider and stuff like that. That's another hot tip. People's minds being blown right now. Yes. But anyways. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know if, if you want to go through like shots by sounds, but like it's essentially it's just like I filmed Bean. this intro, intro bit last because I wanted to do, uh, you always want like the first minute in every video to be as striking as possible. Yeah, and, yeah. And uh, I, 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 it's it's like a game design trick as well, where when you do level design and stuff like that, you always want to design the la the first level last, because then you can take all the knowledge that you learned when you were making the game and uh, yeah. apply it uh, to the first level, because the first level is the most important one. But it's the same thing here. <laughs> so like the first segment in the video is the last part of the video that I made. Uh, and filmed and like edited and all that stuff. And yeah, it's, it, it's uh, good just to kind of keep the whole flow as well. Because if if you know how the whole flow for the, like the rest of like you said the level, you kind of know how to yeah. do the intro. <clears throat> and then that's uh, why it's the most important part. Yeah, and then I uh, built this uh, little construction <laughs> site <laughs> with the list of doggos. Oh boy! And so I'm already bringing out the whip. Yeah, somebody made a mod. Where the hats and the lizard dog were just I learned today. Uh, yeah, I need to install it. Yeah. I got told today. Yeah. 
the hat is uh, a model I bought for this. Um, we can't use it in the game, unfortunately. <laughs> but oh. <laughs> uh, and then uh, yeah, all these like shots from the game, by the way, are made in in Unreal Engine in the sequencer, uh, which is like the same tools we use to make the uh, the trailer. Yeah, it's the, it's the same. I think I saw uh, a little bit of it when the showed Unreal Engine five stuff and how easy it was to make in-game cinematic kind of stuff. Yeah, because like Unreal Engine is, is not only used for games, but also used for TV productions, and mm. they're focusing more and more on that. So like um, <clears throat> there are a lot of really good tools for, for sequencing in yeah. Unreal Engine, um, and it makes it possible to do, to do like, you know, these kind of cool shots with like, you know, depth of field, and uh, you can do a lot more. Um, I usually do a lot more for the tra uh, trailers and stuff, but here it's just like depth of field and screen grab and do animations and stuff mm. like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm essentially just using the in-game animations for all the animals and the creatures uh, and then just like applying them. Poor Bean. <laughs> and poor Bean. <laughs> Supervisor Bean is just observing. Yeah. And then, yeah, this shot is essentially, I rendered the frame twice. So one with the... Uh, one with oh. the, the signs and one where yeah. the signs are all black. And then I mask them and do animations and shit like that. Yeah. So like all, all the animations are handled on this layer here. So like if I remove this layer... This is what the frame looks like uh, without the movement and all that shit. I, t I just totally forgot, like, because obviously Update 8 come out, what, in June? Yeah, something like, like that. Like, it's... When I was watching them, people was reacting, oh my god, this has been added to the game, like, it's been in for so long, like, for us that's been playing it since June, it's like... Oh boy. Yeah, there's there's a lot of new players too that haven't seen too much since like the launch. Yeah. Just point, point in. Uh, all these shots, by the way, are uh, what I do is I take a pioneer and I use that as reference when I set these scenes up. Ah, so you put um, the pioneer down as like, what as a second so multiplayer kind of character. Okay. No, like in in editor you you can just oh, drag yeah, them yeah, around yeah. and pull yeah, of them. So I, I whenever I whenever I frame stuff, I just put down the pioneer just to make sure that like height and like angle are all correct. This yeah. is one of the shots where uh, when I put everything correctly, like in the scene, uh, it just looked like shit. <laughs> <laughs> everything just out of different proportions. Yeah, it's well, not a proportion, but like the angle of things and like it, the shot just doesn't work. Because like I, I, uh, when you look at this like this, this doesn't look realistic. It looks like I'm like hanging in the air. Yeah. Um, but it actually is, is correct. Like, and like height as well. The grass, as I, we always struggle with this with our trailers in, in Satisfactory. All the scale of everything is so weird. It's like all the machines are so big. And when you're running around and up close to stuff, you re don't really think about it too much but when you see things in reference and you put like the pioneer next to a machine you realize like oh shit they're actually pretty big <laughs> um, and some of that stuff is really hard to translate when you're making videos so like in this video for instance whenever i put the pioneer down and I, and, and there's a couple of examples of that as well where when i just put myself on the frame and i put the pioneer next to me and i was like this does not look right even though it is technically right so i had scaled <laughs> myself up and down to make it make sense Oh, wow. how, um, is it, is it uh, how is one point is it one point seven meters or something the pioneer? Height? Yeah, one point eight, I think. It's based on the uh, default uh, player character in Unreal Engine. So that's not height eight. confirmed. One point. I'm one. <laughs> well, I'm I'm one seventy three five, something like that. It's around there. So, so roughly, roughly, yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, and then. Uh, Here's another thing. Also, fun thing. Like I, as I said, I recorded oh. the the me sitting down. This is based on the Captain America like yeah. PSA thing in Spider Man. Uh, I, as soon as I saw this, I was like, Snut has never sat on the chair like that before ever. <laughs> that was the first thing I said. <laughs> I was just like, he's never sat on that. Yeah. No. The annoying thing too was like I I used that as reference because it's like the yeah the Captain America thing and it's like a one of the I think it's the first Spider Man when he's like in detention and there's like a video of, of Captain yeah. Rogers like sitting down like well that so here you are and uh, that chair is so goddamn heavy. <laughs> I, so like and I'm supposed to lift it up with one hand. Like you can kind of tell <laughs> when I'm swinging around. That like, oh, I'm kind of struggling here. Yeah. But holy shit, that chair, I didn't think that through. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. The, uh, the, it... the, the thing is as well is when um, when this 
when I was looking at this shot and I was like, um, the small echo you put onto the audio, the reverb. Oh, yeah. I think as soon as I saw it, I was like, you, you clever little git. Are you clever? Kind of <laughs> yeah. Son of a... And, and one fun fact is that the reverb that's on the chair when I lift it, it's yeah. way more than on the voice. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 when I was watching it, I was looking to see if anyone mentioned it. I don't think was one single person mentioned it in chat. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice little detail that I added. Because without it, it looks so strange. Because like I'm in this huge room, and you can hear the room that I recorded in. Yeah. So, so like it felt so weird, so I just added a bit of reverb. Uh, this scene, by the way, is built by Linus. I added the lights and everything after the fact because I, yeah, like I didn't need to do this thing where like the the spotlight turns on. I was thinking of doing just this shot for the entire segment, but the room looks so clean when, no, does, when you yeah. have it on like this. That that floor has had a rumber on it. That's <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> And that this spotlight is, this is the, that comes on was it um yeah. uh, was it a street light or was it a fake light you added in that's a fake light that okay un unreal engine spotlight thingy yeah okay um and but but the the shots themselves are not animated so all the animation like the flashing and all the stuff that's post mm -hmm. okay so i'm just ex i'm just in, uh, increasing the exposure and then yeah and animating it down. it down um and this is the only shot in the video that has lumen enabled we're always a bit hesitant to showcase the game with lumen on because it's not officially supported so whenever we do uh any marketing material or anything like that we try to stay away from using yeah, lumen with it being unofficial yeah so this is like the only shot the only background shot where lumen is enabled and you can tell because there's it's so fancy looking with so lights nuts. around i can't, I can't play added, without lumen anymore yeah and also added like a couple of blue lights here at the t top just to uh, add it out and those are also <laughs> fake Mm-hmm. Um, just to make it look all even and shit. <laughs> just people going, wait, are they who wait, new lights confirmed? <laughs> like... No. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> yeah. And these are signs, so that's why you get the, the Yeah. Oh, this is when you yeah. was talking about the Unreal Engine. No, yeah, most of the stuff is is B roll that we showed before. This is from yeah. the stream we did with Hannah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna guess no, I... now. Like you're not going to five point three, are you? Uh, we'll see. We're because because is, is it isn't five point three? They've just released uh terrain nanites. Yes, we're not sure if we can use that. Um, yeah, it's the same thing with foliage. Like nanite on foliage is also something we could do, but uh, it we can't just. It's not a like turn on thing. Like we mm -hmm. can. Yeah, you've got to redo everything. Like, not well so yeah sort of not yeah. redo everything from scratch but like either we need to migrate it to use nanite and like set it up for that or we need to redo everything from scratch to use nanite uh, yeah because there was yeah. a lot of um if i'm not mistaken because when i did a little bit of game dev the the uh, if i'm not if i'm not mistaken i think most of the terrain is built on certain objects that i've just been scaled and stretched right hence with the reason you get the stretch arm stuff that we used to have yes sort of it's like a <clears throat> it's like a mesh by itself um yeah that's loaded in in chunks and then it's yeah you sort of uh sculpt it yeah um to make it fit the terrain that you want and then you paint on top of it that with a material so you can get like roads and and yeah. different blends in the material so it's just one material it wouldn't surprise me if unreal engine 5 actually one-to-one -one scaled that probably like so it didn't stretch sort of i mean it it doesn't it doesn't scratch unless unless you do stretch it <laughs> that's like yeah we had that issue with some of our cliffs where we did scale the cliffs and then that didn't work so well we had to redo a lot of the cliffs in the game yeah i'm guessing that is that when possibly made the decision to go with nanite cliffs uh that was probably before um, I don't quite remember because this was so long ago when we actually mm -hmm. did that stuff. Yeah. Because the thing is, like, Update 8 is, is just out in early access, but, like, we've been working, we've been progressing. Uh, I was talking to Hannah, especially when we were talking mm -hmm. about the world changes. Like, the stuff that you guys see on World right now, like, is so behind in terms yeah, of where we so are far right behind. now. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm expecting your, it, the, Hannah's new enough in the position of, like the world is new enough complete it's and it's just there. yeah and it's just a matter of obviously waiting on that story kind of yeah. no, I'm but so a lot of stuff but, but a lot of stuff is uh, i think we talked about this with hannah on the stream where a lot of stuff in the level is like as we're getting better at level designing and, and making the world you know look alive and all the stuff we learn new things and then that makes us want to go back to old areas yeah yeah and touch them back up again yeah, it's like uh, us as players, like we figure something out in one factory, we want to go and implement it on another factory. Yeah, and exactly. just, it's, yeah. It's like a Uroboro snake thingy. 
Yeah. I think it's a reverse snake where it's like it's biting its own tail constantly. Yeah, because I was I was I was literally went into the Titan Forest yesterday for the first time and I was like, oh damn, like because I've been working in a lot of other areas and I went into the Titan Forest and I saw all the bioluminescent big mushroom things and I was like, okay, we need them in other biomes. And it's funny too, because when we uh revealed the Titan Forest, everyone was like, What's new? I don't see any change. <laughs> 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 like you guys weren't in the titan forest enough apparently but yeah here's your little factory it just reused uh, that whole factory's your... about to get ripped out <laughs> oh hell yeah it'll live on forever in the passionless video a lot of and the, the, and the tomato soup <laughs> <It wasn't laughs> <enough. laughs> that's true someone mentioned that's that the last second week. time you've been reverent oh god yeah yeah if i'm not in the um, 1.0 i don't i don't know <laughs> Um, a lot of the b-roll we have in the video are like what we do first is when we make the video is like we took all we take all the old b-roll we have and then we mm. put that on the video just to get a feel for it and then we try and replace everything uh as we go if we have time yeah and this time we didn't have time to replace everything so i reused a couple of b-roll shots for this factory and like the uh the jetpack as well i think yeah. we used to watch a shot and like this vehicle stuff how's the i was coming across my has the physics affected the trains breaking by any chance uh vehicles are don't use physics uh like technically yeah. we have a we have our own physics for the vehicles because you know when this is not just a reference because i keep crashing my train more than likely but it's yeah. more of when i'm holding backspace and braking now it seems like it, it's like i'm just holding backspace yeah that that hasn't changed at all yeah as far so as it's I like know. the braking distance seems like it's i'm like i'm not pulling handbrake yeah. So like, all, yeah, all the train movements, uh, that's not using the physics engine. It's using oh, our okay. own, like we're, we're using our, doing our own physics essentially. Yeah. Um, so that was, I believe, or maybe we've done some extra stuff with chaos for that, but that was the case before at least. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not until they crash into each other when the, when it, <laughs> when the train's like free from the track, that's when it flips over to chaos, uh, and uses, uh, the, the regular physics engine. Uh, when they bounced around and shit like that but it's just like a basic block we didn't really need to do anything to, to change that that was like sort of an automated uh migration that happened for that yeah because that's is, is that all just reuse footage from the other trailers when you was announcing like the unreal engine yeah stuff? yeah this is footage i think this is bonus footage that may, maybe this is new footage for people i don't remember what we showed in that video but it's yeah, the same recording yeah this we is saw the truck just... Yeah, and, this is uh, just me driving around, and then we just grab uh, bits and pieces here. And yeah, there. I think the only thing that's missing from that B-roll from that is the handbrake turn that was in the. Oh yeah. Yeah. Exactly, but that was the exp well, maybe I do it with all of them. Um, and then yeah, I, I stole a blueprint for highways. I can't remember who made that. Um, and then I made this highway thingy on top of it. Just drove on it. <laughs> was it mine? It wasn't mine, was it? No, it okay. was. Um, I can't remember who it was, but it was like one of the first blueprints that was posted online. Because uh, old one, highways. Um, this was like back when Mezzos. This Mezzos. was just when blueprints was like like launched straight away. People, yeah, yeah, and like people started doing websites that hosted uh, blueprints. Yeah. Um, and somebody posted a blueprint of the highway thingy, and I stole that shit. <laughs> I would have um, uh, given them. Uh, like made by blah but i couldn't find who made it i've not even really been playing around with the um vehicles much since update eight. same yeah. with the power switches as well i'm just at that point in the game now so i need to actually implement it <clears throat> oh with well, the power switches yeah yeah because like, uh, i'm still yeah. working on the, the highway at the minute like the highway i've literally just completed around the map but then i'm also integrating the power towers within the highway and then them highways, mm, the right. power lines from them are going to go to the individual buildings to a power switch first before going in there. So that's how I'm integrating yeah. it. All right. Here's the uh, my coal power plant. Oh, remember God. the little blue, yep. the, yeah, the green the sphere thing? When ev God. everyone was spamming, because I, 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 I covered oh. it as a review as well, like a breakdown. And then people was like, oh, my God, there's, there's a new sphere thing in the background, a new building. Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, no, it's just the command block. It's, just oh, like... it's so funny how, like, I think maybe seven people watched that teaser video and everyone was like, looks good, awesome. And then not until I watch it live, people react to it. I'm like, fuck! Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, new building. I messed up. And the annoying thing is I knew about it because um, I, I was like, when I was setting that scene up, I was like, I got to be careful not to show from this angle because then you're going to see the cheap yeah. power source thing. 
Um, you need us to review them. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Us eagle eye viewers. Uh, one really annoying thing is when I was, was recording this clip, uh, the particles didn't work. So there's no, um, I, I want to say gas, uh, like uh, uh, smoke from the generators. Oh, okay, okay. So I guess they're just turned turned off or something. I don't know. Yeah, because um, this, yeah, because yeah, because this was uh, for the thingy announcement, the power switch announcement, right? When yes. we did the power tower, power tower yeah. and stuff. And the original shot for this, I wanted to, you know, you know that shot in, in The Matrix, the third movie, where they're, they're falling like the power lines to the city. Yeah, I want to recreate that. <laughs> but there's like a bug where the um, the indicators on the pipes, they don't like, they're not flush to the pipes Wait, right bugs now. bugs and pipes. And <laughs> yeah. So like when I tried to make that shot, I was like, oh, this doesn't look good. Because I yeah. wanted to showcase, I remember you mentioned uh, like, this isn't connected. So that's why it's really important for me to show the pipes in this shot because they are connected. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm stealing the water from like the little ocean. Oh, yeah. Because I remember uh, saying, yeah, I was going through that. I was like, where's this connected here? Because wait, how is that connected? Then the power sw switches on and how is that? Yeah. 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 So th there's water. It's coming up here. And then it's like, you know, the Homer Simpson meme with like the, he's all skinny, but it's all tied up uh, the back. <laughs> that's this factory. It's like, it's designed for the trailer shots. So it's like, it looks nice on this side and everything. But if you come over here on the other side, it looks like absolute garbage because all yeah. the pipes are just like, just get up there. Yeah. It's, and I think, I think it's like that with my, uh, I think Satisfactory episode three video. And uh, yeah. uh, uh, like it looks nice and clear from the front, but then you go to the back, you can just open back, you can just everything's just exposed. What is this thing? I don't know. I was that's the uh, thing, isn't it? It's one of the archways with the metal inside of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what it is. I thought this yeah. was like a machine part. It like does a... look like a machine part because I'm I'm interested in why is that? I'm hoping it's in the story. Mm, um, yeah, it's interesting, isn't inter it? Let's yeah. move on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Here's the priority. This is another one I was like, I did a fake. Uh, Let's start by talking blur. about one of the new builds. When I talk, showcase the, it. Yeah. The priority power switch. That power so switch is definitely a different power. layer, right? Compared to the background. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, it's because this part of the video, uh, <laughs> for some reason, lags the absolute shit out. So that's, that's oh, yeah, essentially, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just one layer. <clears throat> Now, maybe it's the, the Camry that you would have used, because obviously the, the switch looked more in focus in the background. Yeah, and yeah, talk about the uh, power switch, and then <laughs> this fucking shot. <laughs> oh my, I was dying for this. <laughs> when it, I love the zoom out of this, by the way. Oh yeah, I was pretty proud of that, because I filmed my, my entire body for this shot, and, yeah. and I was like, I'm not going to show the entire thing until I zoom out. Yeah. What well, have you have you seen have you seen the um, power uh, the AI generative fill you can do on Photoshop? Yeah, it kind of looks it like that. That's what kind of reminds me of that. Like you, yeah. like, that's the middle picture when you used AI to fill out the rest and zoom yeah. it out. Yeah, that's kind of funny actually. I kind of want to do that now. I just want to remove this part and see what it would do. Yeah. Oh, Fox has just asked, do you use the satisfactory standard color for the content or do you change the color in post? This is all standard. Okay. We try to, uh, for all the marketing stuff, we always use the default colors uh, for everything. Just because uh, one reason for that is because when people see our marketing and they see like the default yeah. colors, yeah. they know that it's us who made it. Because usually people change the colors in the game. Yeah, there's definitely um, games I know that I've seen trailers <laughs> of that look a little bit different to release. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but we have our like our signature orange uh, colors that we base almost all of our stuff from. Um, yeah. and that's the same one we use in game so it's it's like we want to we try and stick to that which is kind of like sometimes we're like working on shots and we were like oh it would be nice to have this in red mm -hmm. but we can't yeah just like you're branding now though isn't it yeah a little bit um and this is another one of the shot where like it doesn't look like it makes sense <laughs> the pause though <laughs> Was the model pulse? <laughs> <laughs> you can also see the my my mic here. You can see the oh, receiver yeah, yeah. here because I'm shooting everything with the lab, yeah. which you can shoot see on all the shots over here. And that's the that's all the here it is. Oh, there it is. And that's uh, how I grabbed all the the audio <laughs> from the, the video. <laughs> oh boy. This is what I look like every, every <laughs> that morning. Looks like a proper smug face. Just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a, I have th th this one clip coming. I'll, I'll remember to do it here. And, and one nice thing that happened in this shot is like when I was recording this in, because in, the way we recorded it is like you set up the scene and sequencer for the game. 
and then it sort of runs by itself so it's grabbing uh all the frames one by one in slow yeah. motion um to make sure that it's always smooth 60 uh and this is just like a minute recording of nothing and then at the very end when i turn that's when this like little fly thing comes <laughs> In the background <laughs> and it's so perfectly matched when i turn around when you turn around yeah yeah and that was just luck oh yeah because that's one of the uh things that's that's on sort of moth right it's yeah yeah it's, it's yeah. like one of the particles uh yeah. in the atmosphere and like all the the depth of field and that shit that's captured in game um so that's that's i'm matching myself to the capture yeah. uh, so it's the same thing that it's just luck that i managed to capture this in time yeah so you the game blurred but you had to match you to the blur yeah yeah, yeah. a lot of people commented on this, the corner here. Like, yeah. did they add corner pieces? This is in the game. <laughs> yeah, it's in the game. You'd be surprised how many times people comment on like, "Oh my god, they added this thing." It's like, yeah, it's been in the game, or like they leaked this thing or whatever. It's like, but it's in the game. Yeah, it's in there. this. I get that a lot. Like, oh, no, how did you build this? I, mean, I think we had the conversation today. How did you build this? Like, don't you use mods to build all this? Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big game. There's a lot of stuff in it. Mm. Uh, and here's another scene. Me and Linus spent like a full day working on this shot, and we ended up just using like a third of it, this factory. But it, it's it's like a, it's annoying because like when you see this shot or whatever, like everything that's supposed to look busy, you have to spend so much time making sure that everything works and all this stuff. Yeah. And they get the smokestacks and everything running. It's a very tower defense base. <laughs> right. And uh, one one interesting thing about this factory is that. Um, this is all like, of, of course, made up shit. So like, this doesn't make any sense in terms of what it's producing. We mm -hmm. just want machines to look busy. Um, this factory. So what we're doing is that, and we're also we don't also don't care about efficiency, but we need to make sure that everything's always running at a hundred percent. Otherwise, so you get the flight. <laughs> yeah. So for all uh, manifolds in this factory, we always add a smart splitter at the end, and mm -hmm. then we feed it down into the bottom, and then we have just a bunch of sinks at the, the underneath the factory. That just sinks all the resources that's supposed to go to uh, machinery. Yeah, and that way we don't have to calculate shit. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. just put everything on. Full I, I'm, like... I'm, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be honest. I've definitely done that uh, in yeah. a few of the, the things, and just so it looks like it's running, but I need to come back two hours later <laughs> to, to make works. sure it's fixed. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Th there has been like I've done a tutorial on how to do make sure like something was hundred percent efficient, and then halfway through the recording of it, it comes up yellow, and I'm like, no. Mm. So I'm like, I couldn't figure it out there, and then so I made sure it was. <laughs> so then I fixed it <laughs> like later on. <laughs> sneaky shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna lose so many subscribers now because. <laughs> Another fun I'm fact with this shot. Is that the coal power plant is suddenly gone? <laughs> it just doesn't exist anymore. Oh yeah, in the background, yeah. I messed up when I made this. Uh, I forgot to uh, like merge the two saves in. Yeah. Um, so like the power tower just go and then just it just ends here. There's nothing. This connect. This isn't connected to anything. <laughs> just stick an image. Ignore there that, chat. <laughs> that didn't happen. Okay. Yeah, it's all fake. It's all studio production. Yeah, and these B-roll shots are all <laughs> Linus. Uh, they're so clean. The, the B-roll he made. Also, I don't know if people have noticed this, but like the the UI is a bit different for these B-roll shots because we do have the text here with like the conveyable stuff, but the HUD is completely gone and like you don't mm -hmm. see any of the the hands do have a... more to the left than normal. I think that. Hmm, I wonder if I've starting position. I wonder if I move the stuff actually. But saying that though, I don't use the hover pipe much, so I, I'm <laughs> I'm a, point, a straight jet pipe. Oh, you know what it is. No, actually, they are. No, no, it is right. It's just that because, yeah, because yeah, the hover pack comes in from both corners because you've got the, the, the build tool at the same time. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Because uh, a lot of these clips are recorded in higher resolution than we actually output just so we can scale around and move things around. Uh, so mm -hmm. sometimes uh, some things aren't centered because it makes more sense to move the frame. But yeah, this is, this is like a special mode we have for the HUD in the game that's only available in like our internal build where we can hide parts of the HUD and maybe we'll add that to the game. Yeah, later, I think but... you just do it anyway. Because <laughs> it's like, I don't. <laughs> it just gives us the. Yeah. Because but, but it's, it's the same kind of, with kind of... Um, the fly molding game, right? Mm -hmm. Because if we do fly, because obviously we as creators, like, we want to fly, the hands are in the bloody way. Yeah, so yeah. I have to pull out the zipline tool and then hide the zipline tool by holstering it to then yeah. have not the hands available. That's sneaky. Yeah. That's the only yeah. way you can kind of get rid of the hands. 
it's super annoying because I also sometimes when I just want to grab footage, uh, I I just want to boot up the game. I don't have to I open the editor and shit like that. Yeah. And then I get that issue where like if I fly around, then the hands are there. Like if I crouch, sometimes to get the better shot. Same yep. thing there. Like then you start seeing the hands. Yeah. So uh, I'm thinking we should just add like a mode so you can hide the pioneer body and shit like that. Yeah. But this is one of those modes, and it's kind of broken because like if you open escape when you have this mode enabled, it just you just freeze the, they, then you're just done. <laughs> then everything freezes up and you're essentially soft locked. Um, because when we make tools internally, we don't really care about the quality too much. We just want to be able to do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um and oh, then yeah, that? this fucking factory. <laughs> <laughs> this is I when I found this blueprint, that's when I decided to do this shot. Like the the whole setup with me watching the factors or whatever. Yeah. Because this this blueprint is, is so nutty. Uh <laughs> it, it's no but then the, 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 what i don't think a lot of people are seeing is the multiple takes you put that down to get the different angles oh yeah to, wait, i actually so, don't like, know how linus did all that shit because that's that's all linus the, the thing is as well is the thumbnail i released today on today's video was literally the highway connecting together and i had to put it down quickly press p hide the the thing so my hands are away and then quickly switched over so it was like i could ca capture the image what, half yeah. built. Oh, and it was such a pain in the ass to get. Yeah, these these are fun things we have to deal with when like grabbing stuff and timing things. And yeah. uh, we used to do a lot of multiplayer shots, uh, and that that's a pain in the ass because then you have need to have multiple people doing stuff, and everything has to time, and then there's like internet delay. Sometimes I've done in previous trailers, I've done shots multiplayer where I'm alone, so I'm like on my laptop while I'm doing things on my main <laughs> computer and capturing footage. Uh, there's a bunch of shots where like I'm jumping off cliffs and stuff and like following along and opening the hover pack. Yeah. Uh, and that stuff is all all me, baby. All characters are me. Yeah. When I used to edit for Total, there was a, a thing where we tried to get some like B-roll footage and I was there stood on a Mark 1 conveyor belt like I was on a panning system. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then he's there That's running. Yeah. 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 I love yeah. that shit. It's like machinima style. Yeah. <laughs> like machinima's out build. Yeah. Yeah. She's using the conveyor cell as a panning camera. Yeah. All because the uh, mods wasn't working at the time as well. Yeah. It's it's a hard knock, knock, knock life, man. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Bunch of... Okay, oh, here so here's go. one of those... Oh, no. This is one of those shots where... Um, <laughs> let me show you... Okay, so the scale here. This is actually funny. A couple of people saw this on, on our Discord and were like, how tall is stood based oh. on <laughs> the, the foundation siege. here? Uh, and I actually did the math. In this shot, I am like 2.6 meters tall. Really? Yeah. Because uh, the Pioneer... Actually, I can show you this, I think. If you, I you must have the, the Pioneer end. template or something. Because mm -hmm. uh, this is all, this is actually shot like live. This is me filming in-game. Um, so what in multiplayer. So what I did was uh, I put uh, the Pioneer as reference, and I mm -hmm. ran into the shot. Uh, and then tried to line yourself up. And... Exactly. And when I did that, Oh shit! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Secret. You know that? No, that was uh, Epic Store. Oh okay. Uh, so here's uh, the Pioneer. Oh yeah. As re so you can see the reference here. Um, and uh, when I did this, when I matched the size in the shot, it looked super strange because it looked like I was tiny. That's the same thing I talked about before with, with like scale and making shots for our game. It's like. Everything looks so small. It doesn't look realistic. Eight foot six for those that don't do metrics in Morph. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so this is like a couple of shots uh, that I filmed using shadow play. Oh, my God. Yeah. Shadow play. Yeah. yeah. You don't realize how small the pioneer is. Because like, when you're running across the foundation, it's like... It's not that the pioneer is small. It's that everything's so big. This is like eight <laughs> meters wide. You don't really think about that. <laughs> Um, so essentially just like I filmed me deconstructing the stuff mm -hmm. and then to get the goddamn, this shot was so involved and I didn't want it to be, uh, but like to get the highlight, like, first of all, when you dismantle stuff in multiplayer, you don't get to see the dismantle effect. Yeah. It just it disappears. So the way I had to get around that stupid bug, <laughs> shit game, shit, shit game. was to <laughs> change what you can see though are holograms. You know, yeah, you see the hologram, but you don't see the delete. It just yeah. pops out. So what I had yeah. to do was I had to change the default color of the hologram and then place a hologram off the foundation piece where I'm about to build it 
So here it, it's supposed to look like I'm dismantling the, the, the foundation piece, but it's actually the other way around. It's actually already dismantled and I'm hovering <laughs> a hologram where it's supposed to be. And that's how I had to work around that dumb shit. <laughs> oh boy. And See, then I just if it, like, if it was cut, me, cut I would have just gone recorded two angles. And that's what I would have just done. Oh no, we don't do that here. Yeah, yeah. Then I have to match it with the green screen shit like that, and I wanted yeah. a shot. This is like the Looney Tunes uh, style. Uh, yeah, me falling. So th this was. Th this, this is, is yeah, this is funny. This is actually my favorite like shot in the entire thing. Do we have the behind the scenes of this one on the green screen? The actual footage of you just holding the backpack here. <laughs> I'm not holding the backpack on this one, but I do have the other one. Because here's just me falling. Yeah. And I think this is just me uh, revealing projects. What would have been funny if you if we would have seen the bird go past going no no <laughs> <laughs> the lizard doggo yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the sound effect of this no no oh, wait I'm looking at the wrong one here it is that's the, it, oh that would have been great if you got the lizard doggo to remove it from the ground as payback from the previous patch notes oh yeah from yeah you yeah beeping on him yeah yeah so here's me going like, whoa. <laughs> 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 That's how I <Yeah>. fall. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> oh, we need, we need these as coffee stain emotes. Animation emotes. Uh, and then it's just like I'm adding directional blur when I'm falling, and I'm adding like movement uh, yeah. to the shot so that you can see a little bit of like the directional blur here. <laughs> And same thing here, I'm masking out the uh, the thing. So it looks like I'm actually falling through the platform. Yeah, just kind of masking your body and every keyframe you're yeah. moving it up. <laughs> it's like there's a... Oh shit! <laughs> oh I forgot! So, <laughs> so I have a... Wait, 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 wait. Actually, that might be fun to show. A little uh, storyboard? So I have... Bef when I made this trailer, when I filmed everything, I made a storyboard where I drew most of these scenes. Uh, wait, where did I put that? I still, I think I still have that in the... Uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't do all the shots. Wait, is this the wrong one? Uh, little details and sell the shot. Yeah, true. Suck on the... Uh, <laughs> Best Game Actor 2023. Game Awards coming up. <laughs> Best game oh, here it is, here it is. Check this shit out. <laughs> So here's the storyboard for uh, when I made like the initial edit and just like placed everything out and and, yeah. and made sure like what the trailer looks like also to get a sense for how long it is. And then I drew storyboards to be able to convey to like Linus like what shots we need. Yeah. So um, this is yeah, this is where you're stood on the like the walkway with the railing behind. Exactly. And then here's the uh, power tower good. shot. <laughs> this is also animated. So like I did this shot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! Deliver the power like, lines to your factory. And zoom out as well. Power towers. Why was this not Bam. in the bloopers thing at the end? This would have been great. Yeah. A bloopers uh, reel. I also thing. did. So here's the yeah that lead up shot with like the matrix thingy power plants, <laughs> and then here I am talking Let's in front of the switch. Talking about one of the new. Marv's like, please release the storyboard edition of the patch notes. <laughs> 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 Um, um, and then, uh, yeah, logo. I didn't do all of the shots, but I did most of them. Yeah, here's the jetpack thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the jetpack going. Like, moving in the background. Wait, was it the jetpack going? Oh, yeah, because it was the jetpack for the fuel, also wasn't it? finally added yeah, exactly. for multiple fuel types. I thought it was the zipline one. Did I do that? Yeah, here's the falling bit. <laughs> where I'm like, do 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 <gasps> Ah, uh -oh. shit. Ah, shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> so good. <laughs> we should have released this instead. You need to show this on Tuesday to, on the CSS channel. The entire channel. thing, yeah. I need to oh make this God! Oh, sweaty eyes. Oh God, tell me about it. And then here's the uh, the hog. Okay, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> this is the hog appearing in, in the background or in the foreground. <laughs> oh my god, the uh, first! Another really cool new feature we've added. The oh, the Nobelisks. Yeah. 
Ooh. <laughs> Mr. Hankies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and boom. I think that was, that was Wait, it. Wait, that, well, that, there was, um, that scene always reminded me of when I, cause I've seen it at the trailer a few times. That always reminds me of the Joker when he's walking away from the hospital. Yeah, that's, that's what it's based on. I actually had it playing. I was watching that clip and I try yeah. to mimic exactly the timing as well. Yeah, yeah, because that was all improvised. That scene wasn't it? Because it wasn't intended what happened. But then, that was a great scene. No, no, I, no. It, it, that's like a that's a incorrect fallacy. Actually, it was planned. Oh, it was shit. planned. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> there's there's like behind the scenes footage where they're talking through that clip and he's explaining like all the how yeah, how long yeah, it yeah, takes okay. to, to rehearse that thing. So I don't know where <sighs> where that myth came from that people because I saw that too. Like where yeah, I've, I've seen it multiple improvised. times everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know where where that <laughs> came from, but. It's false. False, false Glenn. Fake. Everything's fake. Fake news. Um, what was I talking about here? So it, this it, was this the fallen. Guy. Yeah, yeah. The, when you was yeah, falling yeah, down. Yeah. Um, and then the goddamn like me falling through the sky, <laughs> oh, God. which is just a blue picture with white, uh, directional blurred dots. Yeah. That I just loop and move, and then. <clears throat> I made the parachute in After Effects to make it like pop, do that <laughs> thing. This, the, the me drawing the cord, that's actually, I actually drew that by hand every single frame. You actually, wait, you, you, you actually slow it down, you can tell. Because this is just like black <laughs> brush default. <laughs> Paintbrush. <laughs> yep. It's like he's trying to be Spider Man. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to do, you can do a thing in After Effects where you can uh, take a texture and you can pull it and like you make a, a skeleton for it. I was mm -hmm. usually, I was actually going to use one of the cords and then I used the, this for reference. So this is one of those things where you, I didn't have time to finish the, that aspect of it. So I, I just mm -hmm. left it in because it looks fine enough. It's just like a quick, like you barely release the snit cut exactly. And then me just falling. Luckily, I'm wearing my. <laughs> and some of the stuff is. Too much of this. Some of the stuff is just essentially. Uh, I'm adding like a bunch of motion blur, or not motion mm -hmm. blur, like hand handheld motion. Um, Luckily, I'm wearing my parachute. Just to sell that, like, oh, I'm actually falling, and like someone's trying to follow me, but it's all fake, fucking stupid. <laughs> um, and I move myself around in the shot as well. Luckily, yeah, it's I'm gonna. And these suckers have been significantly <clears throat> camera, little camera wiggle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I did that in the beginning, in the beginning as well, I think. Uh, and then me landing. Oh, through that shit on the ground. And then this shot. Surprisingly, <laughs> so much effort to add. I go into this shot for for a lot of reasons. Because uh, I have like this blue sparkles and shit like that. Yeah. And the easy way for me to do this shot this is actually pretty funny which one is is it this one revealing project so this is actually what it looks like in game when i capture this so this whole zipline thing is actually not in the shot it's this is uh we have i i this is for real captured in game with the green screen in game green screen in game and there's me and kibs using walls to paint green screens <laughs> yeah that's essentially what i'm doing right so i have yeah. we have a material that's just called green screen that we put and then uh, we use it for our icons uh yeah. usually so when we make the icons for the game we have a material that we put behind everything so this is actually in like i think if i is this no this is the entire thing because if you zoom out this is the same place so i get the same lighting and everything uh on the null but like the uh there's just like a play plane that's just green in the background yeah so I can yeah do but there's, there's a mod because we got told there was a mod for it because somebody found out that was like getting the basic walls then just painting them green and then putting all like thumbnail shots in it and yeah then, then it, trying to ma get a, get rid of that but then the know. only annoying thing is that <clears throat> uh in our game we do a lot of screen space uh like color um not color grading, but uh, tone mapping and stuff like that. So when you put a big green screen on top of the frame, that will color stuff that's displayed in the same shot. So you can't do like proper green screening uh, mm. using in-game assets because like the model here is way brighter and like it's like affected by the green color from the screen due to screen space like shenanigans. Um, so you can't 
do proper green screening in the game, but you can sort of get around with it. So that's what I did with this shot. Yeah. So I think if I just remove this, uh, I think the wire was the only thing in the shot that was also there. And then I added more motion blur or like hand movements to sell it. Mm -hmm. Also, not a lot of people have noticed this, but the, the shadow that I have here is actually one-to-one -one with me. And the shadow is actually, I'm taking the same shot, me doing this thing, and I'm like turning it and skewing it and pushing and it down <laughs> and then flipping it. So then, it's actually yeah. it's actually the same footage, just like with that shenanigans. And then like 80% opacity. Compressed down onto the floor. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. And, and then it's like without it, it looks like garbage. Yeah. When you don't have the shadow. But with it, it's like, oh, actually. Ooh, it's like ooh. you're floating around now. Yeah. Um... And then blah, blah, blah. And then, ooh, this shot, I have to get a huge shout out to Linus, by the way, for this shot. Because this shot is magic. Uh, we didn't couldn't use the entire thing in the trailer, unfortunately, because it's, it was too long. But this took Linus forever to time. Okay, so we, I'm just going to reveal this here on stream. Exclusive news right here. So this is the entire B-roll for this clip that Linus used. Um, it's like supposed to showcase like oh, zip lining and, and landing. So it, it's the end here. Like he's going through here and then landing at the door and the door opens and there's the Ooh. fucking man in the background and like a nice view ball like this is such a good shot yeah. i can use the entire thing and the timing as well with the sun like shit like that oh this this was when i saw this i fucking cried <laughs> this is such a good b-roll and i couldn't use it but yeah the mantis like i could i could definitely feel that there was, there was a one video where i've like tried to get the mantis a time but then i've missed it and i was too high or too low and i got to reposition and wait like a whole eight minutes for it to come back around it's like you, you you what we usually do is we save and then i think the mantis is, is can be reset <laughs> using the save file yeah yeah and, and if we do multiplayer shots, we have a to nice save move. and then reload and then everyone rejoins the session and then we try again to get the shot. <laughs> and over Super and over annoying. again. Yep. The more people you have, the more annoying it is. Because when that landed, I thought it was a mask. So it, the... if you go, yeah, if you go to the actual, oh footage... yeah, yeah, this shot, yeah. Or do you mean this bit here? Yeah. So where he landed. Yeah, that it... could that could have been a mask. Yeah. Yeah. If only we knew. But we. Yeah. We didn't <laughs> yeah. Anyways, but but this is all real. This is one take. Like actual in game, no no magic. Yeah, you know, I guess it's just Linus nailing this shot. So it's actually fully raw. Like I I I thought because I thought that shot was a, a no. This probably. is this is raw as hell. Yeah. It's raw as it gets. It's fucking raw. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, if only people knew. So yeah, and then here's the jetpack shot. We've seen the storyboard um, for that one. And then here's Jace's footage. Uh, is that of his power plant? This is uh, the most in the video where Jay's talking about the jetpack. This is, uh, he captured the footage. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, and that's why it's yellow here. It's like indicating like, remember to remove this. <laughs> because this <laughs> be replaced. And then we didn't get around to it. And then <laughs> this fucking shot where I land in the... Uh, and I had to oh, rotoscope, here we go. In, yeah. rotoscope in the jetpack here. And then it just <laughs> behind me. And then I just chuck it away. <laughs> when you're watching in slow mo, it's like. It, it, <laughs> it, it, it reminds me of the Drake meme. Do you know when he's there doing like the, the money kind of thing? <laughs> Have you seen yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I do an absolutely solid Tom Scott impression right here. here. Um, <laughs> it's like, I am this in Tom Scott. Oh music. my God. Yeah, man. Tom Scott. Uh, and then, yeah, Vista's actual analog camera, by the way, here. it's The actual sound is from that camera in this shot, too, where I'm, like, clicking it. Oh, here the, we go. We know what's coming next. My t-shirt matches the, the red jungle <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> unintentional. But just works. Yeah, and then this, this <laughs> goddamn shot. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Clueless. Yeah. I love this shot so much. I'm doing like a slow rotation of the camera just to make the uneasiness of it. There's the, there's the shadow again. <laughs> yeah. Shadow. Uh, this shadow actually didn't work doing the way I did it before. Mm -hmm. uh, so I had to do, I can't remember what I did here, but the, this, this shadow took so long to get it working. And the fart rocks. <laughs> and fun fact about this shot is the... Uh, one thing I realized when I was making the B-roll for this, I, I was like, oh, I can just film it from 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 in-game 
and just like put that in the background. I don't need to like do anything magic with this. But we have when the the shit explodes in our game, we have like the camera shake. Yeah. And and the camera shake ruins the because like the camera shake that I have here is is laid on top. So like the camera doesn't actually shake here in the in the <laughs> B roll. Because if I do that, I need to match my body with the shake. With the shake, yeah. And I could not work that out. So I had to uh, make, and I so I had to like hack the game in editor to get rid of the camera. To shake. remove the yeah. Um, but then the next problem was that the uh, rocks, when they fall, they don't fall at sixty FPS. They fall at like they fall at like they're like optimized or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so that looked like garbage. Um, so I had to speed up the footage <laughs> just for when they're falling, so you can see that the trees start moving way faster. Yeah. So I the could imagine well. the tree. Yeah, exactly. And then there's like a speed ramp that goes down again once the everything settles, and then you can start seeing stuff like. Yeah, it's a good job you probably jacket. left them gas ones in the background. Otherwise, the gas would have been there by itself. <laughs> uh, the gas does dis disappear, but uh, there's another rock in the background. Yeah, mm. uh, and I was kind of like hesitant to add this because like if it doesn't disappear, then like people might be like, but then it didn't actually work or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading it too much into it. <clears throat> But the, the gas is supposed to dis disappear there. Uh, and then here's the legendary <coughs> hazards when, when I get assaulted. Many areas of the world. They're still <laughs> we're getting by the Now that's not all though. There's a the thing is I'm kind of proud of the animation here. I really want to show you guys. Uh, so because I have to do the animation way, here. We're going to be able to of them falling to the here ground. <laughs> and then be like, "Oh, we're going to fuck you up, buddy." Oh, it's so extra. It's so uh, great. I love. I, I love. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, the girl running meme. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, it's so funny. I'm like scaling up the footage here. Where I'm running. <laughs> it looks so goofy. It looks like I'm a race. It's, it's the arms. Oh, I love it. And the so head much. bob. This <laughs> And I'm of course standing still when I'm doing that. Oh, that's the boy. whole thing. I'm doing this, and then I have this footage. <laughs> of me just doing this and flipping the bird. So good. <clears throat> this is. Oh, actually, I have a. I might need to switch scenes for this, but I have a. I have a bonus thing here. Uh, let me see if I can do this smoothly. Do I need to hide cum? <laughs> uh, no, but okay. I might. This might break your layout for like one second here, but. All right. Do, 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 Oh my God, what's going on? So here's here's a little bit of behind the scenes. Uh, when I made the the background for this shot, that's just a camera spinning around in circles. Okay. Um, and uh, <laughs> the way I did this was I took a pioneer as reference, usually as I usually do for all these shots. Yeah. Uh, and in this and in this, I just wanted to test it, and I was looking at this happening. I was like, what the fuck is this shit <laughs> so this is what it looks like when you're looking at the camera uh so oh, like you can like see the frame that's how scooby-doo was done we, we've yeah, yeah, solved yeah. it because <laughs> I didn't want it to be stationary or rotate because then you can actually see it that it's like repeating so I actually had to have the camera move around a little bit too what I find great is the detail on the camera you never see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Unreal, Unreal Engine, baby. And because uh, the initial idea I had was just to set up a scene and just have a camera moving along with the track. Yeah. But it was so hard to get the, the motion blur to look good and like all, do all that stuff. And then I realized, like, what if I just take this, the camera just spin around? And then this is when I tested it. And I was like, okay, this actually works. And it looks dumb as hell. <laughs> So that's how that whole scene was done, was that whole cam just... Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and then same thing here, I'm adding like motion <laughs> of hand. This when is what it looks like without the tracking and all that stuff. They're the most... Uh, so that needed the... And then here's me getting cornered. Two little beasts. Here they come. Well, guess that's <laughs> it for me, huh? No way I'm getting out of this one. Maybe like, uh oh. Wait, no, I can just do this thing. Uh oh, oh yeah, uh -oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheating. Sorry. This is the book. <laughs> this is, by the way, this is what it feels like when you're in that situation playing the game. You're like, ah, oh, shit, I'm being chased by something and I didn't have passive mode on, and you're like hectically trying to turn it on. Like the music it just perfectly encapsulates like what it's like doing that stuff. <laughs>
Boop. <laughs> Sweet. You may have noticed that the menu has Easy been updated. Money. The creature Let me just back to normal. Mode have moved yep. because there's a and it's the same thing there. Like you can see the scale. Like this, I'm still far away from the the hog, but it's mm -hmm. huge, huge compared to me. Well, the big boys. Yeah. And then more lean B roll. <clears throat> then I walk off into the sunset. Some other new things coming in updating. If you want to learn. And uh, that's the patch notes video. That's pretty nuts. I also love this, this little thing where I'm like fading <laughs> in the the back the logo in the shot first behind me, and then, and then I to bring it forward. Yeah. And then when I did this, I realized like, oh, we've never done this in any of the patch notes video where we say this out now and thingy. So like, I didn't need to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Out now. It's the only one that's out. Yeah. Yeah. That was great. That was funny. But it, it, it it just goes to show there's just so much more than just to uh, what goes in it. There it is. Uh, we haven't even talked about the audio and shit. Because <clears throat> there's True. a bunch of work that, like the mixing and, and like all that shit. I also do a little bit of magic where, I don't know if people notice this, but when there's music in the background and when you want to hear the music, everything is like, you know, it's just the music. But one thing I do is when, I, when I'm talking and I have music in the background, I fade down uh, on the EQ like around uh, 1200 uh, hertz mm -hmm. uh, i do like a little bit dip um so that the uh, music becomes more bassy and like there's it's almost so like it's a, more of a it's like a yeah i know what you mean it's like a top uh, filter sort of uh, but it's it's more in, in the range where i'm talking because i've figured yeah. out like roughly where am i speaking voice lies roughly yeah because most and humans voices are around 1000 to 1500 right yeah so i just do a little bit dip in the EQ yeah. for the music that makes my voice pop more and I can still retain the volume in the music uh, and you can still hear the music. Yeah, so it's not uh, too muddled. And I fade that up and down throughout the video uh, to make it match. Let me bring this up here. Good stuff. There we go. Yeah, no, that's... Uh, thanks for showing us that, Snuddy. Um, yeah, it was good. It was a good little insight because yeah. there was a lot of stuff that I saw but I don't know if... Uh, some other people saw, so it's uh, everyone to say a bar snut. Bye bye. Show love. <laughs> bye. Buddy. Yeah, you, bye, you, you, everybody. You, you can kick me out of this room. I don't know which room I'm in. I'm in a void right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're stuck in here forever. <laughs> yeah. All right, right, dude. Thanks for joining us. And uh, yeah, I'll see you play on Tuesday. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye.